Welcome to the Trailblazers, where we discover and profile those millennial founders whose inventions use tech for social good. Now this time, we're honing in on a startup who've created a portable, smart air quality sensor that aims to protect our well-being by tracking air pollutants in our indoor environment. They're called Sensely, and they use electrochemical sensors to ensure an accurate reading on toxic gases. What's more, once the app detects worrying levels of, say, carbon monoxide or nitrogen oxide, it will suggest proactive measures you could take to tackle the issue. Danny, the co-founder, Sam, also wants Sensely to have communal value by allowing you to share the information it's collected with your local network of people. It will also track the humidity of your environment because, get this, it turns out that extremely low or high levels of humidity could actually damage your lungs. I wasn't aware of that. So these guys want to help you keep your home safe from domestic accidents and benefit wider society. I want one of these personal air quality monitors. But first, let's hear from Sam. Sam, thank you for being on the Trailblazers. Thank you so much for having me. So listen, I'm really glad we have you on the show because I see Sensely as a super example of exactly what we're trying to profile okay. on the Trailblazers, which is tech being used for social good. So let's just dive right in and get you to explain exactly what Sensely is and why we should care. Okay, so Sensely is an air quality sensor, simply put. What it does is it uses electrochemical sensors to ionize the air to detect a wide range of gases. And using this, it can tell people what what gases are in your environment. Why people should care is that your air breathe is important. We can survive three weeks without food, three days without water, but only three minutes without air. So in looking at this, we really need to be able to kind of monitor our air quality, just like we monitor our food quality and our water quality. Absolutely. So Sam, you've taken sensors that are typically a little bit tricky to calibrate yeah. and more the realm of sort of the tech elites and made it a little accessible for a wider mainstream audience. So well done on that. Thank you. Could you demystify exactly how the tech powering this works? So as I said, um, the air chemical sensors ionize the air, which enable us to detect a wider range of gases. Now normally you'd need loads and loads of gases to detect different compounds. What we've done is used our clever software, our CTO, he's practically a genius. Um, and he's been able to put together this software which extrapolates this information, enabling us to detect a wider range of gases with um, a very small set of sensors, making sense to be nice and compact and portable. To ensure the accuracy of our sensors, what we're doing is we're working with UE to test and calibrate these sensors within pure gas environments. This enables us to ensure that it can detect the gases we are saying it can detect and detect them accurately. There's a lot of bad press at the moment in quite a lot of countries, London in particular, mm -hmm. about toxicity of yeah. outdoor air, yeah. and yet not enough of us are aware that actually it could be the air in our immediate environments at work yes, or at home exactly. that could be just as dangerous. Yes. Now, does Sensely also track other elements such as temperature and humidity? Yes, it does. So Sensely is also able to track the humidity, temperature and pressure of your environment, giving you a full scope of what your environment is like. Now, with your humidity, you might even be able to detect whether there's going to be rainfall, for example. Um, and we also are going to be adding particulate matter sensors, so you'll be able to detect if there's mold in your home or even pollen. What we'll initially be focusing on is giving people this community access, being able to share their data, because by doing this, we'll be able to kind of increase the, our effect uh, on government policy when it comes to air quality, because it is very important. That's a great ambition, is actually to go onto the level of influencing policymakers. So Sam, what sparked the idea? What spurred you on to create Sensely? Our uh, initial idea was to create a home security drone. Um, one of the um, key features was it being able to detect the kind of quality of air in the home. After doing more research on how we could do this, we realised that air quality was a very important issue. So we decided to extrapolate that idea and make Sensely its own product and start with Sensely and go from there. And this is where technology, particularly tech for good, actually kicks into play, yes. is when it just becomes all pervasive and you don't have to think about it. Exactly. And that interface between a person and their tech is just blurred mm -hmm. and it's just there. Yes, this is exactly what we want. Um, a day where you don't have to think about all, of, all the kind of stresses of life because you've got that information there and there and, there and then. Another thing, with, if you have sensors that are around you, they make the intangible tangible, enabling you to see when you're making a change to your environment and makes it very easy, makes it very natural. 
say. So this goes beyond just home safety. It mm -hmm. also speaks to personal health, isn't yes, it? Exactly. And well-being, which is fantastic. Let's talk about Sam as a person now. Okay. okay, I want to unravel a little bit of what makes you tick. Now, were you always building and tinkering around as a kid? Yeah, I've been tinkering since I was a little kid. In fact, my mom had to take away a screwdriver, the screwdriver from me so I wouldn't actually take apart the entire house. I always loved taking things apart and just getting to know how it all works. It's great when those personality traits that are actually slightly quirky or annoying as a kid end up working in your favour in your career, so that's definitely, fantastic. Definitely. Sam, what are you really like when you're super stressed? Okay, it takes a lot to get me stressed, but um, when I am stressed, I, like I say, I'm a bit, I've got a shorter fuse than um, normal. But even then, I try and kind of keep it to a minimum. I hope, I hope. It's the best people to ask on my work. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm off to go ask them actually what you're like when you're really pissed off. And I'll get the honest answer. <laughs> Sam, look, it's been fantastic chatting to you on the you Trailblazers. Too, I'm so impressed with everything you're doing with Sensei and I'm going to keep a close eye on it. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you for having me. Danny, I'm so impressed by what the young team behind Sensely are doing with their product and where they want to take it. It amazed me that despite our perception that outdoor areas are often full of the most toxic pollutants compared to indoor spaces, the converse can be true. Exactly. And that's why Sam made a cut to be on the Trailblazers. Thank you for watching. As people are walking by, we should just say something really weird. <laughs> so, kangaroo meat. Oh, is that how you prepare kangaroo meat? No, I'll pretend that you're interviewing me. I'll be like, thank you so much for interviewing me today. My little old starter. It's called Shibby and Me. <laughs> Hit it. It'll probably take me a, a run through on this one. It's been Rolling up. That's the pound take one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about his outfit. Yes. Okay, ready? My socks. <clears throat> My shit. Your socks. Shucks. Your sensoria socks. Anytime. They heat up your toes. Anytime. <clears throat> Hair okay? No <laughs> Oh no.